Okay, it is time to speak with uh, the scholar. Professor Bram Kendrick. Hello. May I help you, Inquisitor? Have you been to the island? A spirit on the island held the memories and possessions of a Meriden's lover, a woman named Talana. It told us that a Meriden was here on orders from Emperor Draken himself, and where he went next. On Drosti's dimples. I may have received tenure from that sentence alone. A Meriden had a lover. Talana, you said. The Inquisitor's Lady Mage. There was such debate over whether she existed. And there were orders? This was a request from Draken? This changes everything. Uh, let's investigate. Spirits don't bother you? You don't have a problem receiving information from spirits? It's not ideal. But since you found corroborating physical evidence, I see no serious issues. Any study of great wars and battlefields carries an inherent risk of contact with demons or spirits. When spirits are willing to talk, most historians love the chance of a first-hand report. Why do the orders matter? What does it change knowing that Ameridan was on a mission from Emperor Draken? Everything. One current theory holds that Ameridan was selfishly throwing off his responsibilities to go hunting. Another suggests Draken had him removed or even killed because Ameridan opposed the Navaran Accord. But if this is true, then Ameridan was a loyal servant of Orlais. He was not an embarrassment. He was a patriot protecting Orlais while Draken fought in the Second Blight. Uh. What does Telana change? A Meriden and Hakan connected. When I helped the Avar at Stone Bear Hold, we learned that the jaws of Hakon once bound their god's soul to a beast. According to the spirit, the dragon a Meriden faced was powerful and accompanied by hostile Avar. You believe they could be one and the same? That would mean. Of course! Of course! Brilliant! 800 years ago, the Second Blight threatened a weak Orlais. A perfect time for the Avar to attack. This Avar god dragon could have endangered the Olesian Empire had Ameridan not stopped it. That explains why he would accept such a dangerous mission. And likely how he died. What if the dragon rose again? How bad would it be if the contemporary Jaws of Hakon bound their god to a dragon again? With Orlais still recovering from the Civil War and the Mage Templar conflict, not to mention the scattered rifts and remnants of Corypheus' mm. forces still causing trouble, a high dragon given malice and magic by an Avar god spirit could hypothetically destroy much of Orlais. At least, I hope that was hypothetically. <laughs> Doesn't Avar god bother you? You're not concerned about the literal existence of an Avar god? Not particularly. If the jaws of Hakon once bound their god to a dragon, it is likely just a powerful spirit. That isn't to downplay the important cultural significance to the Avar, but magic does not equate godhood. Every blight comes from the old gods, which are also dragons corrupted by some outside influence. Sometimes I wonder if we really know what we mean by gods. Amanda was the hero? How was this overlooked? Haka will not rise again. How was this overlooked? History forgot about an attack by a giant magic dragon. You want something done right. The spirit said to follow the river to the north, and something about spires or spikes. Hmm. Up the river, um... The scouts have had trouble with Hakanites up there. I'll continue my research, but for now, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, where are you from? Okay, let's do some I personal I take it you're not questions. from Orlais, originally? <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Starkhaven. Fourth son of Lord and Lady Kenrick, destined for Chantry service. Fortunately, I convinced them the university might be a fashionable alternative. Good for you. Uh, how did you get a job? How were you assigned to the Inquisition? I study primarily the early Chantry, particularly around the signing of the Navarran Accord. That was why I transferred to the University of Orlais, closer to the source than Starkhaven. 
Sadly, most scholars took Inquisitor Emeridan's history as settled, even with so many questions remaining. No one took my ideas seriously until your Inquisition formed. I wrote Ambassador Montelier, and, well, here we are. Let's discuss Emeridan. I'd like to discuss Inquisitor Emeridan. Of course, your predecessor. Existing historical records are contentious. Some say he was a devout Andrastian. Others suggest he cared little for religion, gaining leadership of the Seekers through Emperor Draken's friendship. He disappeared around the time the Seekers of Truth, the original Inquisition, incorporated into the newfound Chantry. Historians assumed he retired to go dragon hunting. Our new information should shake up academic circles profoundly. Tell me about the university. What's it like at the University of Orlais? Oh, it's brilliant. Some of the greatest minds I've ever known. Now, the university was always well regarded, but Empress Selene made it the envy of all Thedas. She even got them to start admitting elves. Few bent noses, but it's worth it. Knowledge knows no bounds and all. Correct. With that unpleasantness with Grand Duke Gaspard done, the university is safe as a haven for knowledge. What's your no next... Uh, what's our next step? What do you need me to do next, Professor? That spirit on the island said something about Emeridan going upriver to, um... Some place with, with spires? While you search upriver, I'll continue studying these buckles. That, um... Sounded better in my head. Uh-huh. Goodbye. I'll speak with you later. Okay, let's complete that. What yet lingers? Yes. Upriver. Spires, a place to pray and plan one last night. This is it. Is it? Okay. This should be interesting. Uh, what's that? A Hacknight Bruiser. Okay, so the enemy is here as well. That's not good. And one of those as well. Whew. I guess we shall... Uh, Attack. Go guys. Looks like we've stumbled on what they don't want found. Well if they didn't want it found, they should have hidden it better. Because now they're mine. Or this place is mine. The Inquisition's property. Oh shit, come on. Move around. And uh, he's gone. Uh, let's kill the last one. Oh, jeez. Uh, kill these guys first. Good. Oh, there's more of them inside. Is there anyone else here? No, we killed them all. Now let's kill the champ. No, not the champion just yet. This gal. Ooh. Woo! Close one. Ah, fucking hell. I am being tormented. Pop that. Good, we got some health back. Leave the champion alone for now. First we deal with the ads. Let's see. Oh shit! Give me that health back. Let's just heal up again. He doesn't lost that. No, there's still more. There's proper regeneration potion. Oh shit! Cole is back on his feet. Okay, now we finish this guy off. Whew. 
Oh, there was the one that left. Wait for Harding and Kenrick to arrive. Let's loot this first. A war twill, large weapon fragment. More twill. Wormhole. Oh. Let's take a look at the axe I got. Uh, axe, a hammer. The great axe is better, actually. No. It says here that the wormhole is better. It has 323 damage, but the great axe has 293 AoE damage. I might check it out later when I get to the hold. And I toss in some runes, see what happens. Let's see, there should be some more loot around. Oh, silly me. <laughs> Let's wait. <laughs> wow. This is brilliant. This must be what the spirit meant. Excellent find. From what I can see, this is an ancillary station. Likely a scouting post for the larger structure to the east. What can it tell us about where Inquisitor Ameridan went? Hmm. I got Professor Kenrick here safely. The rest is up to you. Good job. Lady Harding was quite nimble in the wilderness. I'll be watching to make sure the Hackenites don't come back. You do that. We are going to head inside. <clears throat> And see what we will find. Hopefully, something useful. Well, this is a puzzle. This is Tevinter, from well before the last Inquisitor's time. I understand they use such tiles as locks. Interesting, though not likely related to a Meriden. Look at that! Well, in the effort of, <laughs> of getting that door open, I got this door open. Wow. Looks uh, like something useful here. Let's just grab the loot first. What is it? Silk and nether cloth, fade touch, plush, fusty and velvet, and refined battle mage mail. And uh, this is a dragon's head. Dragon of Mystery, return to us, we beg you. Your servants falter. The paths ahead are lost in darkness, and those who walk them find only a ruin. Those who should guide us instead wage war upon each other, vying for a throne that does not exist. The blood of their sacrifices that seeps into the stone here shall be the only truth we reveal in the end. Okay, let's try and get <laughs> the other one open. And there we go. Look at that. All pure luck. I had no strategy whatsoever doing all of that. A unique dagger, Hakon's Mercy. And it has a frost rune in it. Let's give it to our demon. If it's better than what he's already using. It is. Hmm. Quite nice indeed. I like, I like. Now. Okay. We didn't have to do that. It was just, well. Just a puzzle for some extra good loot. So let's keep going in. Into. This fortress. Or whatever it is. Find a way to take down the barrier. Okay, let's pull that. Well, that didn't help. Let's uh, go and click on this, see if anything happens. Uh, nothing. This is... Ooh. Ah. I believe it's the word for light. It's some sort of clue to this barrier. Not sure how. Are you sure you can't help me any further than that? How about this one? 
Thenaros. The elven word for dream, I think. Light and dream. How is that gonna help me? Oh, look at this. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, I guess we take the mail fire. So, light and dream. No, no clue. No clue whatsoever what to do here. Wait a minute. What's this for? That didn't help. Uh, nothing helps. <laughs> Every single lever I've been pulling in this region, we've been, I've been getting the feedback. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> nothing works in this place. Everything is broken down. No wonder they left this place. <laughs> well, I wonder why they defended it. Maybe they were doing maintenance, and they didn't want anyone disturbing their work. Yeah. Okay, light and dream. Uh, I have a feeling I need to take this torch down to those two chambers. And that's fire as well. And that is what I'm gonna do. Maybe it works on uh, the barrier. Ooh, that might be it. That's what he did. Oh, well done. Well done indeed. That's something you don't see every day. A pair of shrines. This one is clearly Andrastian, albeit from a very early period, likely pre-divine. But this is Elven, one of their gods. Uh, what was it? Every mother finds Druffalo among sleeping juniper groves. G something, the one with the deer. Every mother finds what? What was that? Every mother finds Druffalo? Oh, it's uh, a memory aid to help me with the names of the Elven gods. Every is Elgernan, Mother is Mithal, Fines is Fallow something. <laughs> I was more focused on early Chantry history. I didn't really do elves. That sent sentence is incomplete. Are you sure that your memory aid caught all the elven gods? Well, there's only one F for Falondine. Oh, I suppose I forgot Fenerol. This isn't him, though. It's, uh, it's one of the ladies, uh, obviously. G something. Unless the deer points us at the final resting place of Inquisitor Emeridan, we can probably leave it for now. Right. Regardless of the deity, this is clearly Elven. Two shrines for two lovers. Inquisitor Emeridan and Talana. Maybe Talana was an elf. Oh, yes. That's good. The Chantry expunged references to elves before the exalted march on the Dales. They erased the canticle of Shartan. They must have done the same to Talana. Uh, is this where Emeridan died? Do you think this is where Emeridan died? No, this was a site of preparation, not burial. Emeridan and Talana put up this shrine together. Look at those flowers. They're not native to the area. What if they were left at the shrine as an offering? Yes. A night of prayer before battle against the dragon. But then where? Where? We're missing something. What are we missing? Oh, where did you go? Look for more clues. Let's bring the whale fire with us. Uh, aha. I can actually click the leaf. Professor, look here. at this. Shartan 10-7 and Transfigurations 10-1. Shartan is dissonant. 
And before them, empty, outstretched, lay the land which led to the gates of Minrathus. And Transfigurations is, the light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world. Why these verses? Why would Inquisitor Ameridan take the time to carve this before going into battle? The gates of Minrathus. Isn't there a Tevinter fortress in the area? Yes. Oh, of course! The ritual site! To seal the dragon away, a Meriden's elven mage must have used a spell at a site of great power. My scouts have checked the fortress. It's sealed behind a wall of ice. It has to be magic. Let's look around. A Meriden found a way through that ice, so that way should be nearby. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, oh, I know, I know. You're gonna use the dragon heads to make a puddle for the paths of this from beam. Brilliant! When the Imperium abandoned this fortress, they left the Wall of Ice to what? Uh, to lock the door behind them? And every lock has a key. Like these trail markers. Ameridan must have known how to use them. If they can melt through the ice, that must be where Ameridan sealed away the dragon. I'll follow the markers and see what we can find. Uh, that's one down. <laughs> well, let's do this. Time because of all the fuckery that's going on. Ooh. And those are uh, root magic roots. Yeah, they met traps. They activate once uh, an enemy step into them. Let's kill these. Oh, they are elites as well. I didn't notice. And he had to just teleport away. Ah. Kill this one first. He's gonna rip through his health. Ah, come on. Die. He's dead. Now it's your turn. Ah. That was a terrible miss. I missed fire. And goodbye. I said goodbye. Finally. Uh, now done. Let's activate this last dragon head thingy with the lever. Inquisitor, you will see the power of Hakon when we destroy the Lowlands! We are ill-equipped for a siege, my dear. Perhaps a change of tactics? Our new friends at Stonebear Hold may be of some use. Oh. Yeah, that's, that actually sounds like a, a great idea. Let's retreat for now, guys, and come back with some reinforcements. They might climb the wall. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> let's retreat and she stays behind to, well, attack them all on her own. Well, I'm gonna retreat back to uh, Bear Island, or whatever it was called. See you there.